Before we start, a couple helpful perks. If you're struggling with getting out of the basement, you can use knock knock in order to have the basement exits highlighted at the start of a match. The same can also be done with tool tracks for finding tools at the beginning of a match in order to actually lockpick the doors. And then finally, you may want to run intuition if you're working on the fuse or valve as it will highlight the fuse and valve after collecting the key items. Our first exit is going to be the generator and after coming out of the basement you want to head to the left of the main house and there will be two different gates here that you can open. You only need to open one of them in order to get into this next area which is the compound and then you should find the generator somewhere in this area. If you're having difficulty finding it you can follow the yellow wire from the electrified gate back to the generator itself, interact with it to kick it until it breaks, and then you'll also need one more tool in order to actually lock pick the gate itself in order to escape out onto the road. Now your teammates can do all of these steps for you as long as you go through this specific gate and make it out onto the road for your escape, this will count as your generator completion. The car battery is very similar to the generator except when we leave the main house we want to turn to the right instead of to the left and we'll find once again one of two gates that we can lockpick. So go ahead and lockpick the gate in order to enter the next area and in this next area there's going to be a couple cars you need to find the one that has the car battery exposed. Of course just like the generator you can follow the yellow wire from the electrified fence back to the car battery if you're having a difficult time finding it interact with the car battery to turn it off and then you'll need another tool in order to lock pick the fence itself in order to open the gate and escape. Again your teammates can do all of these steps for you as long as you exit through this gate it will count as your car battery escape. You can do this. For the fuse exit we need to exit out of the basement first and head on outside and we want to look around the outsides of the buildings in order to find the fuse. It can be pretty well hidden so just be aware of that like this one right here in the grass. After grabbing the fuse you'll want to go and find the fuse box which is generally going to be in one of the bedrooms of the main building. So here I am finding it right here and you will need a tool in order to break it open. Once you've broken it open, you can use your fuse on it to activate it and then you'll need to do a little math puzzle. So the basic mechanics of the math puzzle is to use the two circles on the top to add up to the number on the top and then the same thing on the bottom. So I need a yellow and a red to add up to 12 on the bottom. Once you've done both of these, the exit will open up and you can make your way down to it in the basement. It always spawns in the exact same spot, so you can follow the path that I take to get to it in order to escape. Once again, your teammates can do all of these steps for you as long as you just make it out of the door in the basement, it will count for your fuse box escape. The valve is very similar to the fuse in that we want to head to the outside of the area after exiting the basement and we want to look for the valve somewhere around the outside of the buildings. For the most part it won't spawn around the main building so you want to look around the smaller sheds and shacks in the area and then you need to find the actual tank which can be found either in the backyard of the main building or it can be found in the basement so just keep that in mind you may need to go down to the basement to find it instead. Once you've found it, you can put your valve on it and begin activating it. Do this slowly, patiently, so that you do not alert the family to your location. And then once it's fully activated, the door will not actually open immediately. So you'll want to head over to the area of the door, which you can just follow the path that I take. But you'll most likely need to wait a little bit, so you'll want to hide near the area until the door finally opens up, and then you can run straight out. 
Again, your teammates can do all of these steps for you as long as you head out this specific door, you will complete your valve exit. 